now look, look, I, I, I pride myself on creating content that is family friendly for the most part. So it makes me feel good to know that I create content that people will find not offensive. Until one fateful day! So not long ago, I did a video, Blink-182 with Lil Wayne. And the morning I uploaded it, I went up to my little computer, you know, and I saw there on the screen, your video has been demonetized. Because that's what everyone does when they get demonetized. So then it was like, okay, I'm demonetized. It must be a copyright claim because, you know, that's a thing. But then no, no, there was no copyright claim. Guess what happened? My video was marked as offensive and not suitable for advertisers. <laughs> Me? Offensive? for advertising. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. Excuse me. No, no, but seriously, excuse me? There is no conceivable reason why that video should be offensive. I pride myself at being inoffensive. I'm offended that you find me offensive. I like to be fun. I like to be jovial. I like to be damn peachy. But it's kind of hard when YouTube is saying I'm offensive. Because what happens is when you upload a video to YouTube, someone at YouTube, a, a person, a living person watches your video and decides whether or not it's suitable to be advertise worthy. I even wrote a song for these YouTube workers who marked me as offensive. What the scrout? That's all I got so far. Working progress. So then I watched through my video, like, what could be so offensive about this? Maybe it's because I jokingly jumped in front of a fake truck? So what did YouTube find offensive about this video? I don't freaking know, because they didn't tell me! All I got was this vague note saying hate or discrimination toward a protected group. Do you really think I'm hating on Lil Wayne? I don't hate Lil Wayne, I just think it's goofy that he's touring with Blink-182. How is that hateful? And even if I was poking fun at Lil Wayne, YouTube guidelines clearly state you can make references to marginalized groups in a non-hurtful or comedic way. Now look me in the eyes and tell me that everything I've ever done wasn't in a comedic way. I've never been serious a day in my life! I'm not even serious right now! See, this is what I mean. Sometimes it's frustrating communicating with YouTube because you get such vague answers. Sometimes it feels like this. Hello? Hi. Yes, uh, hello. Um, Here at YouTube, we thrive in creating a safe and friendly environment. Yes, of course. Uh, I uploaded a video and it was marked as offensive, so it was demonetized. Here at YouTube, we thrive in creating a safe and friendly environment. Yeah, I got that actually when I first walked in, but but there's nothing offensive about that video, so I was- Here at YouTube, we thrive at creating a safe and friendly environment. If you could just tell me what part of my video was offensive, so that way I don't make the same mistake again- Here at YouTube, we thrive at creating a safe and friendly environment. Just tell me what part- no, Here at YouTube, I'll we even thrive cut the in part creating a safe and friendly environment. Look, I, I just don't want to make the same mistake Here again. Here at YouTube, why are you not wearing pants? Why are you? I'm gonna go now. Super stoked my questions were answered. Here at YouTube, we thrive in creating a safe and friendly environment. Now look, I'm exaggerating of course. Usually YouTube is pretty helpful. But then I remembered 
This happened to one of my videos a long, long time ago with my happy black metal video. That video was fun, hilarious, it had a positive message behind it, but guess what? It was marked as offensive. Hi, I'm Stevie T, and today we're going to address black metal. The only offensive thing about this is my camera quality. That's like some quality 480p. Was it this that was offensive? <laughs> oh my god, oh! That was so offensive, oh! So I was reviewing my video, trying to figure out what was so offensive about it, but then I noticed, at the end I had fake blood! Now YouTube has this thing about the image of blood. That's like a no-go for monetization. But then I was like, um, YouTube, that's not real blood, that was ketchup? <laughs> you really thought that was real blood? Caused by a plastic axe? <laughs> oh no. My video is gonna get demonetized because of blood. <laughs> Don't demonetize me. It's ketchup. It's not blood. I'm gonna eat it. Huh. Mm, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I swear to God I'm sane. But now whoever decided that my video was offensive isn't the only person that finds me offensive. Check out this hilarious message I got. OMG, I watched your 10 most annoying songs vid and Dan, grow up and get some sensitivity in your life. I mean, I can relate to some of those songs, but let it go? It's about, about letting go of the past that has haunted you. Instead of songs that talk about, oh, your ads, your tots, let me duck you, bitch. It's a wounded how ooh have so many subscribers. Get a life and grow some sympathy for God's sake. Wow, that was really good grammar you got there. Hmm? And I'm sorry. Yeah, I really am. I'm sorry that let it go socks. <laughs> Seriously, all I'm picturing is this like middle-aged man who has some weird unhealthy obsession with Frozen. <sighs> no one makes fun of Anna and Ulcer. Stevie T must be dead. Now look, I'm not here to make fun of YouTube or the people that review these videos. In fact, I apologize to those people for being forced to watch my videos. So all I ask is just be fair to me. Just be fair to me. So anyways, thanks for hearing me rant, you guys. I love you and appreciate you. You know that. You know that, right? But it was kind of cool letting you guys in on some of, the, some of the struggles we have. The struggle's real, man! So I will see you guys in the next video.